the last night of the proms. In the middle here is bass baritone Paul Medlicott. Singing is his passion. But imagine if, like Paul, you've lost some of your hearing. And to you, it sounds like this. Now, without any hearing aids, uh, my hearing it was, is quite poor. Um, if I've, I noticed it was beginning to go, uh, perhaps seven years ago. Since then, Paul's had various devices, but now he's taking part in a trial with new intelligent hearing aids. It was transformational, absolutely transformational. And each new experience during the week uh, was extraordinary. Just walking home, uh, turning the corner and being able to hear the birds. I mean, it was just, <laughs> it was like a little bit of magic. It was wonderful. One of the trial locations is Guy's and St Thomas's. Hearing aids aren't new and there are already some apps that talk to them, but never before has the combination been available on the NHS. And as well as being able to turn the hearing aid down using the app, one of the clever features is it will alert you if it thinks you're somewhere too noisy. I'd switch between the different programmes which are suitable for different environments. So we might be talking quietly as we are now or we might be out in the street or at a concert, uh, whatever, and the different programmes suit different environments. The hope is controlling hearing loss could help slow down the early stages of dementia. So what we know is that untreated hearing loss is a risk factor for developing dementia. What we think is that the reason for this is that people are not getting enough stimulation in their environment because they can't hear very well, so they're not having conversations, they're not getting the interaction with the community that keeps your brain active and, uh, and engaged and keeps dementia at bay. So we think that if you treat hearing loss with hearing aids at an early enough stage, that will reduce the risk of getting dementia. This is a Europe-wide trial with EU funding. Here in London, City University is involved, with UCL and Guy's and St Thomas's looking for hundreds of participants. Helen Drew, BBC London News.